What do you expect from the audience in Trafalgar Square? Do you think people will be interested after 100 days? Do you think that they are, is the question, do you think that this project is sustainable? Well, I think, you know, the, 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 the answer, the proof will be in the pudding. Um, uh, I have no expectations of the, of the crowd in Trafalgar Square. I think it's incredibly unpredictable. Very, very, uh, it, the mood, I don't know how much time you spent down there, but the mood on the square changes imperceptibly from minute to minute, incredibly quickly. Um, and it's really interesting because I think it hasn't been like it hasn't been like this for very long. I mean, the, the, the Foster transformation of the of the North Terrace is absolute, and the change of the, the change of the square from symbolic symbolic core of London to actually a living room for London is very very recent, and people are learning how to use it. And it's it's uh, I think it's really fascinating that thing because you could say that, that what some people want the plinth to be is actually going on anyway on that top terrace so there's the, the guy you know the guy who dresses up as a soldier and he must be hat and stands there with his with his tin asking for money you see him no and then next to them there, there can be break dances or rappers or there was a guy today who was just absolutely brilliant with a football. He, he balanced the football on his right toe for about what it was seen like forever and ever and ever. And he was just sort of going and he was just sitting there and then he just sort of flicked it. And he got it, caught it on his left shoulder and kind of cut it and then he rolled it onto his right shoulder and he kind of went like that and he got it onto his head and then I mean it was just absolutely fun. I mean it was a real performance, really, really. And meanwhile, um, Lady on Plinth was filling, you know, bags full of earth and acorns, planting a, you know, oak forest on top of the big which was very meaningful and, thank, you know, I'm sure um, full of, of interest for her. But as a spectator sport, it was very minimal. Uh, and, um, but it was very, very nice to have this contrast, in a way. You had this high level of skill, which had its own crowd, and then, you know, people weren't really interested in the lady who might have been planting, you know, the most wonderful forest, but, you know, nobody would have known. And, but they, they didn't mind. They were carrying on. They were, they were chatting and eating their sandwiches and, you know, watching people flashing about in the fountains. And I quite like that. So the, the way in which sometimes uh, the plinth disappears within the tapestry of different activities, uh, in Trafalgar Square. But I think another really wonderful thing you could say, oh, well, you know, this is relativism taken to, you know, isn't this art and shouldn't this be something special? Well, I think that so, one, so long as you acknowledge that it is something special, it helps you look at, again, the qualities of different activity that are taking place there. What is the difference between somebody, you know, sitting and reading a book up there and one sitting down on the bench here, you could say none at all, but actually the, the very fact that there is somebody up there that is being filmed and is sort of you know, in this privileged or whatever frame of representation I think uh, changes everything else, changes everything else and the way that you look at everything else around it. Another question. Is there 